Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is a pleasure to be here this morning. My name is Amadou Hot, CEO of the Senegal uh, recently set up sovereign wealth fund. Uh, Senegal is not a country with uh, oil or mineral resources like many of my colleagues' countries, but we have uh, some assets uh, that the government would like to leverage on to generate revenue and to raise capital to invest in the economy. So we don't have just a stream of cash flows for, for coming from oil, for example. But government has a shareholding on many companies in Senegal, including a listed telecom company where the government's uh, stake is $1.6 billion. Government has shares in electricity companies, in uh, uh, rail companies, in many other sectors. And also in the mining sector, government has 10% in most of the uh, uh, producing mining assets by law. So government says, let's put all these assets into one company, an SBB, which I'm running, which is a stakeholding company, 100% owned by the government of Senegal, set up by law as well, and run like the private sector. So the government recognizes that it has some, uh, let's, say, uh, uh, let's say, some weaknesses and says, let me set up this SPV run by professionals whose board is composed essentially by private sector. The government has four board members and private sector six board members. And the law says the company should run like a private company. And uh, 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 basically, we are like, let's say, the, the Temasek of, of, of Singapore. Let's say the way they started in 1974. Uh, our goal is to use those assets, some of the cash flows from those assets, raise new money, structure projects, and invest in, the, in those projects with private sector locally or internationally. And our government also recognizes that it is relatively weak in terms of structuring projects. So far, we just present ideas to investors. But we want, with the Sovereign Wealth Fund team, to go from zero to financial closing, to attracting uh, strategic partners, technical partners, executing the project, operating, being a shareholder in the operating entity, and receiving the revenue. So the first few years, we'll invest heavily, hopefully we'll make some money, and once we make the money, then we keep some for future generations. We don't have money from day one to keep for future generations. We need to create that money by making profits first, and the law, all that is in the law actually, the law says, for example, uh, minimum 15% of our net annual income should go to a future generation fund that we don't use for the first 10 years. And uh, basically, uh, unlike the other sovereign wealth funds, we don't invest a lot on securities. We invest only in the real sector, infrastructure, agriculture, energy, real estate, estate and so on and so forth. And lastly, our objective is also to develop the private equity in our country because it is not developed. All the SMEs or other companies just try to get loans. We're trying to develop a, a, a private equity by ourselves investing into SMEs. So 20% of our resources is dedicated to SMEs and the rest is dedicated to strategic assets such as infrastructure and so on and so forth. Uh, the fund also uh, set up operating entities to uh, basically uh, operate assets financed by the government. We are not just doing PPPs in Senegal because it takes too long some time. Government finances some time toll roads, but we need at the end of the day somebody to operate the toll roads. The fund set up the operating entity, attract a technical partner, operate the toll road, get the revenue, and then pay back the loan. Thank you very much. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.